My concentration is in uh, sustainable energy and with our greenhouse gas emissions rising from uh, fossil fuels, uh, my research is trying to focus on alternative fuels we can use to generate electricity and for use uh, with heating applications. Last spring, I did a practicum over at the Renewable Energy Center, and that inspired me to work more with biomass material. In the fall, I had worked with Ms. Campus adjusting the moisture content, and that was an interesting project for me. So I wanted to do further research with biomass and pelletizing, so I pursued more interest with miscanthus and an alternative binding agent. Glycerol is being applied to the material because um, it allows for the material to flow through a pelletizing mill. Um, a pellet mill essentially uh, uses pressure to force material through a die and that will create pellets. The original idea stemmed from uh, biological sciences Dan Johnson in Biological Sciences is the one who uh, makes the biodiesel on campus and he has this waste available and applications for it right now are very limited so we tried to apply it to a biomass and sustainability. They do have Miss Campus pellets available uh, for purchasing and there are large industrial scale uh, applications that are being applied but um, we're trying to find a way to use glycerol in the process so that it won't be used as a waste in landfills. The ultimate goal is that these pellets could be used for energy purposes, um, for heating and electrical generation. Uh, our system isn't specifically set up to handle pellets right now. It is made to handle uh, wood chips, but those sort of modifications are something to look for in the future. Alternative fuels need to be developed and utilized uh, before we're going to get any sort of energy security in the near future. I have never worked this hard in my life for anything, but it's been uh, really beneficial. I really do enjoy what I do. Um, I really think that sustainable energy is going to impact the world, and it has to. It has to. 